Hi guys, as you can probably see, the Happy Planners had a little bit of a changeover. Um, I'm actually not talking about One Butch Lies today, I'm doing a plan with me. Um, all of the design team for A Better Signs UK are doing a Here Comes Summer themed week for the week beginning the 15th of July, um, using various different summary uh, sheets from some of the collections. So this is going to be my contribution. Now as we know, uh, the main focus of this, I've not been using full blown sticker kits or collections or anything like that. Um, I have been doing, there it is, uh, rainbow type inspired spreads all about fitness. I quite like that sound. Um, so here is the main spread that I'm using for week beginning and 15th, which is using an old two sheets um, rainbow, I suppose it is a kit, um, it's still available in the shop on in the sales section but this was designed to give you a structure for a fitness week so I've got breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner for every day of the week, hydration, I'm loving these labels uh, with the trainers on, I have put them on the request list. Um, for my exercise, I've still got my self care in there, my top three for the day, and then my kind of focus for the week and my habit trackers for everything else. So I kind of put that stretch in already. Um, there were other stickers that came with the kits. So there's like um, there's a weekly uh, tracker. There's a few headers. There's a blank ones. So what I've done is I've put on here. This is gonna be the gratitude prompts. This is gonna be sort of good day bad day type thing. This is going to be my uh, sleep count for the day and this is going to be my screen time. So that's going to go in there on the half sheet. Now, if you have been watching my One Butch Live videos, you will know that while I'm loving this part of it with this whole focus on me, fantastic, and I'm loving the whole process of bullet journaling, there is the whole I need to put some stickers down situation that's going on. So we're going to try something different today. Um, we're going to try a weekly overview setup using the wonderful Sunbeams A5 core sheets, potentially with a few other bits from the collection that I have a lot of the stickers because it's so orange um, and we all know I love a bit of orange. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, bear with me um, as we do this. and. We're going to get started. So I will flip that out the way. So my initial thoughts were to see if I could fit uh, this strip and this strip down one side. So I've kind of got a diary page. I don't think it's quite going to work and I'm not going to really risk it. So I'm going to do uh, Monday to Wednesday down here, Thursday to Sunday up here. So I've got a bit of a split week then I can have a bit of an intro to the week and then like an outro to the week if that makes sense I think that makes sense um, so yeah I am loving these A5 core sheets as a bit of prettiness and delight I suppose um, within uh, my weekly setup I've been reread the bullet journal and I decided that I needed a weekly setup that ran a bit like the monthly one did um, from the book. I don't want that at the bottom, I want that at the top. Um, <laughs> I needed a weekly setup that ran a little bit like the monthly log as described in uh, Ryder Carroll's book. So having a bit of a calendar, a bit of a task inbox note section where I can transfer things from week to week. Um, put down things that need to get done during the week but not necessarily on a specific day or on a specific day so I can record it when I get to that day. So that's the decision that I made and it's worked really well this week. Um, so having that space is really helpful. Now I have experimented in many different ways with adding the bullet journal into this setup. One of which was having um, a whole section, which has kind of worked. Um, I've used these same kind of half sheets within uh, the weekly spread, which actually I think works the best. 
because I can see what's going on and yeah, it just gives me an overview. So we'll see how it goes. I don't need my ruler for this, what am I on about? Um, so this week we are going to try and do half sheets within the week, which is taking it down. Um, and if you haven't yet watched my, uh, if you're watching this before I do my one but July video for the coming week, you get a little bit of a preview of what's going on. So there's a bonus. Um, so this is the washi strip from the sheets, the A5 sheet. I have got the other washi strip sheet to hand. This is what I mean. Where is it? I have got this to hand if I need it because I really like um, this kind of bright orangey colour. Um, pink is also a very heavy colour within this collection but I feel the oranges and the yellows and the red kind of outweigh it a little bit. Um, so I'm just peeling my washi very carefully off the divider. Um, so I peel all the washi strips off so I can punch them and put them in my divider. Apart from every other uh, rainbow sheet because, and I'll show you why in a moment, um, I love these A5 binder sheets because they're really easy to store because you can pop them in an A5 display book which is really easy to get hold of, you can pop them in um, a binder, you can literally punch them and put them in, uh, which is lovely. I've even, uh, Happy Planner punched some of mine, but every other rainbow sheet I don't take the washi off, I leave it on because then it keeps the holes a bit stronger and then you can put all of the strips of washi on uh, them as they go. So you can see on this one it's it's stretched quite a bit that one um, and that just makes it last a little bit longer so I don't do it to everyone because I do want some rainbow washi at some point but I do on quite a few. So. Um, we're going to go for a this week section up here, I think. So we'll do that in there. Um, and we're going to put some habit trackers in at the top. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use these for, but I like putting them down. Uh, obviously, I've got the habit trackers within um, my wellness setup spread. Uh, which have very set purposes for what I'm tracking and that works uh, but I'm not really tracking in the same way because I'm recording as I go to get a picture of the week um, it kind of varies a little bit okay do I want some kind of header no no it's fine I'm gonna go for it so this is going to be where I transfer my priorities for the week. So at the end of the week, last week, I went through my bullet journal pages. I highlighted everything that I needed to improve on in one colour. I highlighted all the successes in another. I did a page as part of my daily log where I put them side by side so I could see what worked, what hadn't. And then I transferred over key points on to... Um, onto the start of the next week so I can see where I've done okay, where I need to improve. So going in with some stickers. Monday is recycling and bin day and it is also guides on Monday. Last one of the term. Um, I did make it this week up for half of the session because Sunday night I just hit a wall at ten past eight. It physically felt like I'd hit the wall and that wasn't great for me uh, so I didn't want to overdo it but I wanted to go for building up that kind of resilience again uh, I'm going to put this down on Tuesday so Tuesday mornings were when I was having my group sessions and I have struggled a little bit now that they've stopped um, and I found something else that runs at the same time actually quite conveniently but it's fortnightly so I'm still going to dedicate that Tuesday morning to kind of focusing on uh, me. I'm going to call it my personal development time. Uh, 
focusing on all the things that I need to be focusing on and I'm just going to put little hearts in there my self care symbol uh, what else do I have going on next week let me put the dates in because that will probably help me prompt help prompt me anyway so 15, 16 17 I know what it's just reminded me of now 18 19 20 21 okay let's turn them back that way oh, I'm quite liking this setup um so I need to find a different binder where is it it's not that one it's not that one it's the one that's up here so I'm just gonna knock the camera while I work through the binder that is sat on the shelf that I stamped my camera stand on and try to find exactly what it is that I'm looking for because I forgot and it isn't there oh that's helpful I've got no idea where I put it anyway I'll just do one of these Wednesday is what's new Wednesday which we always like six o'clock any best time which is when all the stickers are released which is lovely um, I'm gonna put guides in there I think it's a different time to normal so I'll leave that blank uh, personal development don't know why I said that in a weird voice I just did okay um, the 18th is in my head and I don't know why um who knows um <laughs> the 20th is a big family outing to london so my auntie is celebrating a significant birthday and my cousin who has lived in China for I don't know how long is going to be in the country so we're all having a big celebratory meal in London sadly without my husband because he's on call let's put a sticker in for that because I will forget otherwise so I'm going to put that at the top here there okay this is my notes section so this is kind of this has been working really well this week so things that have come in that i know i absolutely don't need to worry about yet just get transferred back to this page um so that will just stay there i do know one thing i need to get done this week i'm going to put it on here uh i need to book a checkup with my doctor And that is probably on this week, so I don't forget it, but it needs to happen during this week. So we'll put that in there. Uh, weekend banner. Now, this is I liked this with the weekend banner last week. Don't know if I can get it to work again. I keep doing this off camera. I'm sorry. I've had to readjust my phone stand and I can't quite get it in. Okay. I know that's got bits poking off the top, but I've lost the scissors now. Oh, for goodness sake. What are you like? There we go. Sorry, I've had been sewing this afternoon, so everything's a bit all over the place in, uh, around my desk. So I know it pokes off the side, but it still gives me a bit of room to write things and anything else i don't know i don't know blog post goes live on monday but put that in because why not yeah so that'll be the group blog and you can see what the rest of the design team have done for this summery week um And if you are watching this beforehand, there is a competition running on Instagram and in the Facebook group for joining in with us as well. So I will leave links to uh, those below. Right. Anything else? 
that immediately springs to mind to put in here. No. So add a tiny bit of deco around the place. So this is this is the quote, um, which says, "If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams, and you always look lovely," which is quite nice, isn't it? Uh, that's where it's got its name from. This collection. So I'm going to stick that in there. It does overlap a little bit. When I just put those in, I'll just rejig them around and put what I can put where. Right. That's the main bit done, I think. Did you remember? We'll leave it at that. So that's my structure to start off with. Um, as I do every week, I get a fistful of pens and put them in a pot that kind of coordinates so I can use them as and when I feel like. Uh, that's a phone. Bear with me a moment. There we go. Sorry about that. I ha was expecting a phone call, so I did just need to go and double check it. Right. Uh, what was I saying? Pens. So yeah, I normally have a selection of pens on standby uh, that kind of coordinate. Uh, what I have worked out is if you would like to get an even divide on these headers from the A5 sheet, 3.3 uh, centimetres gives you a nice even spacing uh, so that you can use them for other things because I have been cutting them up recently. I know some people have been using them in a hobby each few weeks. So that works. Um, that's it. That feels really empty. Never mind. Right. So what I would do then is, and there is some doubling up on this. So I turn the page. I write the date. First day of the week is Monday, which we all know. I don't know why I need to say that. Um, and we do some nice little headers because I like them. It just makes it really clear. It's setting that intention as Ryder Carroll described in the book. And then I would start here. So I know on Monday um, we've got guides going on. And it's the last one of the term. Um, the blog post goes live, and it's bins and recycling. Because I like to see that on the day as well. I I know I double up. A lot of people do. It just happens. Um, so, because I'm very conscious that I need to book a doctor's appointment, I'm going to put that in on Monday. If I don't get to it on Monday, it's not the end of the world. But, it is helpful. Um, but it's there then, as I look at it, it's there. Other things that I need to get on Monday. Monday uh, is normally a bit of a chill out day, really. I think there's anything else in your skirt at the moment, but then I'd build up as the day goes on. And if the day gets to here and all of that's Monday, that's fine. If I only get to here, that's fine. That's my bullet journal page. And then if I know something comes up that immediately doesn't need to go anywhere, it will just go in there. Um, I might put some deco in because I like these nice big fat sunflowers. Still can't work out why the 18th is in my head. It will come to me eventually, I'm sure. Um, we'll just we'll just wait and see. So, yeah, that's my week really. Uh, I think a lot of people have been using the half sheet notebooks um, and calling them happy Nietzsche's or faux Nietzsche's as a kind of their own version of. Um, creating their own planner pages really but I still call it a bit of a bullet journal because your bullet journal is whatever you want it to be so there we go so that is the week set up so I have my full kind of wellness focus going on and then I have my weekly log and my dailies in the same place as well all together so I'm not going to miss anything so there we go that is 
it for now uh, on this video for me anyway as I've said I will leave um, the Instagram and Facebook links below and I'll leave links to the Ellie Beth Design blog where you can find out what the other design team members have done to recognise this week um, using other summary uh, collections. I know we're not all using the same one. I know Sophie is using um, the Sea is Calling, which I used for June in my Passion Planner. I know that, I, well, I believe Tracy is using Toucans. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but they're all quite summary collections, and obviously we all use different planners, so check them out. As always as well, I will leave my own social media links and my uh, discount code which is an affiliate code uh, for any orders of stickers from Rachel shop um, everything I've used today is from her shop including these lovely stickers here uh, and these functional ones here and yeah I will be back with a one book July video at some point to share how I'm actually getting on this week and other changes that I might have made beyond the bullet journal half sheet as part of this weekly thing um, yeah, I'll leave it there for now guys. In the meantime, happy planning.